Imagine being a spy in a game world where the entire environment is transparent, so you can't hide. Hey everyone, I'm Grant Hall, and welcome to Let's Play You Are a Spy and Everything is Transparent. Um... Oh, hey, um, I need to adjust my keyboard again. Just like, ah, what? I, I... I seem to have a lot of momentum. I wonder if this game is supposed to have sound, because at the moment it doesn't. I also wonder if there's uh, any sort of goal. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh. Ha 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 ha. Ah, no, no, stay away! So they act sort of like uh, the barrels in Pac Man, where. If you er, barrels and pack barrels and Donkey Kong, where if you turn around multiple times successively, you uh, get them to go away. So I have no idea what that bar over on the right is, or the thing over on the left. You know the the red and yellow flashing. No idea. I notice that if I'm in a blue area, the bar on the right empties. Uh -huh. Doors appear to be the only things that can save me from the scrutiny of these spy hunters. Okay, so it's not if I'm in a blue area, if it's, uh, it's if I'm far enough away from anyone. So my wanted level can go down. Alright. Um, the, the whole transparent walls thing makes for difficult navigation. Well, not super difficult. I mean, I just need to realize that rooms are all in the cloud. So if I'm trying to go to a place that doesn't have a cloud, there's no room there. Why is that guy walking to, into a wall? Why did my wanted level just go up like crazy? Uh, uh. So, yeah, I'm not sure that there's anything more to say about this game, really. It, uh... It kind of reminds me of, like... an arcade game from, like, the mid-80s. Maybe early 80s. Like something like uh, elevator action, maybe. You know, just a super basic game where the entire point is to stay away from anyone who might not be you. You know, just like this appears to be. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's all I have to say about it. wonder what happens if I uh, willfully get caught. Or can I willfully get caught? I mean, these guys aren't exactly noticing me. Oh, my, my wanted level just went up and then dropped? That's... that's weird. That, that right there, is the sign of an incomplete game. Okay, so how do I get over to the left? I go down here, 
and around to go down and more around. Okay, so where's another ladder to go downstairs? Over here. Back at that dang flower. Alright, so... I just want to see how far to the left I can actually go. Oh, it loops, doesn't it? I say that because I found that flower. So I presume it loops. Yeah, I'm gonna presume it loops. What did I do? What 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 did I do? I hit the space bar, which caused that exclamation point. I dropped a flower? Can I drop more flowers? Would appear so. What is the purpose of dropping flowers? Apart from making things more floral. He just ate my flower! Who do you think you are? Garfield? So, yeah, I am a stealthy botanist. That appears to be the purpose of this game. Flower arrangement. Oh dear, two people see the flower, and it made them both very angry. Yep, definitely loops. Okay. Well, now that we have that settled, I'm Granhol. See you guys next time.